of Vet Ranch, I'm Dr. Matt, and I'm glad you're here. This is Pablo. Pablo is probably a five-year-old Chihuahua. He was at the local pound and was scheduled to be euthanized because he has a little issue back here. This is a perennial hernia. Um, when I squeeze this area, I can feel his intestines moving in there. So his intestines have come through his pelvis and have herniated out into this perineum area. Um, and he can still poop and he can still pee, so it's not an emergency situation, but he does need to get this fixed because it can become a bad situation pretty quickly. He also has a little cut over here on this leg. Not sure what happened there, but he's a very sweet little dog. I'm a little nervous right now. We are going to fast him overnight and then do his surgery tomorrow. I've never done one of these surgeries before, but I've researched up on it and I think I can make it work. So we're going to try to make him a much more happy, comfortable dog tomorrow. We'll check with you then. Good morning, Pablo is under anesthesia and show you this you can see his intestines moving around in that thing we're going to get him prepped for surgery and get started have them all scrubbed up and you can see how bruised this skin is um, and that's why he's been so painful back there just stretching out that skin pretty bad so about to make an incision this is his anus right here i'm going to cut kind of an elliptical incision right under there that should be about where the hernia is coming through and we'll kind of see what we have. All right, we are in, and here are all the intestines out um, behind the pelvis where they should not be. They're coming through a little hole right here. This is the rectum coming right out here. That's why we have this plugged right here so nothing comes out. So here's the rectum, and here's a bunch of intestines pushing around the side of it. I'll exteriorize these so you can see how many there are in there. Um, but yeah, a good bunch of them. So. I'm just gonna work on pushing all these back in and then we have to close the defect in the muscles that let all that through. All right, here's the sac. See it's full of fluid down there. It's just full of fluid and bowels. I've pushed most of it back in here. I'm just getting the rest of it in there. Um, and the bowel is supposed to move around in the body so you basically just get it back in there and there's enough fluid that it'll just kind of move around and go back to where it needs to go. So, got the bowel all back. That is the big hole that should not be there. So. To fix this, basically I just need to tie these external anal sphincter muscles and these muscles all together over this spot so that nothing can poke back through here. I have it tied in three places up here on the top, but I still have um, about a half pinky width hole right there. And the issue in all the literature I read, um, there's plenty of muscle to tie through down here. but. If you hear that, this is all just bone here and just a little bit of light tissue covering it. So I'm just dissecting down further, trying to find something of structure to tie up here to the anal sphincter. That's my issue right now. All right, I have everything sutured up there where the hernia was. Now I've opened it up to the extent of where all the swelling was. And uh, I just have way too much skin now. Um, if I didn't trim some of this, he'd just have a big floppy area. So I'm going to trim this extra skin and then suture it up. All done here, um, I have sutures and staples going all the way down. I have a drain tube placed in here. It runs all the way under this incision because there's a lot of dead space and it's gonna continue to leak. But I got all the um, extra skin cleared out and I think this is gonna heal up pretty nicely. Um, they actually said in the book, you can see he still has his testicles down here. They said 90%, 95% of the cases are in unneutered male dogs. So um, they recommend neutering at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip them over now and neuter him. After we flipped him over, we noticed all this bruising here, a little bit over here. He must have got pretty torn up, I would assume, by another dog, and that's probably what caused all of his issues, but he is very bruised, probably pretty sore. Neuter is done now. I'm going to take off these little dew claws, and they're just attached by skin, a little thin layer of skin. There's no bone under there, so this electrocauter unit. I'm just gonna basically cauterize them right off, and that's all you'll need to do. Got the little dew claw right there. One more on this side. That's it. I'll wake him up. All right, it's day after surgery. Pablo is doing well. Um, his drain tube really isn't draining as much as I thought it would, which is good. Um, the incision all looks good, and he seems to be um, in not too much pain today. He's just very nervous. This will probably be our last video with him. We're going to send him with a foster um, so that he can heal up there because um, he's kind of nervous in our kennel. So anyway, we're probably not going to see Pablo again for an update video, but. Thanks for supporting Vet Ranch. All of his procedure was paid for by donations from our YouTube viewers. So thanks for watching. See you next time.